He doesn't know, and your point is well taken, Peter. Phil, my, my question to you is, is more political. Um, the president ran on stoking divisions. It was successful yeah. for him. It worked. Does he really want to stop the divisions? I mean, the disinformation campaign that the Russians used in 2016 helped him. It would stand to reason that it would help him again. It, it did help him, and Vladimir Putin actually said alongside Trump at that press conference in Helsinki that he wanted Trump to win the election, that that was the aim uh, of, the, of the interference. So is that why there's a disconnect? The president doesn't really, I mean, I don't know. Does the president not really want to stop that sort the, of thing? Does he not take it seriously? He doesn't take it seriously. He also conflates uh, meddling with collusion. Yeah. They're two very different things. Russia can interfere in the election, as the U.S. intelligence agencies have proved. That doesn't mean that the Trump campaign colluded with them. But to President Trump, it's all kind of one and the same. And this is what White House advisors say. They can't get through to him that these are two different topics and that it's okay to condemn Russian interference in the election and, and still have a valid election win. He views any sort of acknowledgement of Russian meddling uh, to, to discredit his election win, to make him a an illegitimate president. And that's why he takes it so personally. Can it be an effective strategy to push back against this, Ken Delanian, by the intelligence community to, to deploy whatever they have at their disposal? to to stop to stop uh, the Russians from from getting or anyone else from getting into our election systems our voting machines uh, to have Facebook coming out and monitoring their site is that enough if the president of the United States is not leading the charge does it really matter what he's saying on this absolutely it matters Katie and you heard Dan Coats there say that he supported more sanctions on Russia. And, and while this administration has imposed some sanctions, the president has also sat down with the head, the leader of Russia at a summit and elevated him and said right now, and raised questions about whether he even believed that Russia interfered in the election, standing right next to Vladimir Putin. So that's the opposite of making Russia pay a price. And you know, there's a lot, there are a lot of experts who tell you um, it's not really reasonable to expect foreign, uh, private companies like Twitter and Facebook to stand up to an onslaught by a foreign intelligence agency. The Russians are always going to be able to put bots and trolls on Twitter. I don't know that anyone knows a way to stop that. The way to stop it, people say, is you have to make Russia pay a price. You have to impose a cost on them, and that just hasn't been done by this president. Let's listen to Marco Rubio.